So let me first uh, introduce my topic. It's about geek girls in the Philippines, meet Drupal. So actually, it's more about um, the female world. But men are welcome to attend this session because uh, we're also giving credit to male people who have also initiated the IT industry and the IT community, especially in the Philippines. So let me first introduce myself. OK. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm really, I'm really excited to join because we come from um, Manila, Manila in the Philippines, and I think it's the first Asia Pacific Ecocon to actually help to transform the entire Asia Pacific region to become a true, you know, it's all of these names, right? There's more than. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Donna. Actually, I would like to thank the Linux Australia uh, for supporting me and sponsoring my scholarship for this DrupalCon event. This is my first time to ever uh, attend the DrupalCon. At last, it was a dream come true. Thank God and thank the Drupal Association for helping me achieve this goal. So thank you very much for that. Well. To introduce myself, I humbly introduce myself as just a freelance Drupal developer, and I am just one year and a half in the Drupal development. I have not yet contributed any module development in the Drupal core, but I am somewhat initiating an uh, event in the Drupal Philippines in Manila. So I'm also heading uh, the first uh, Philippine Geek Girls, where we founded only last year, 2012 which is composed only of five to 10 females for a while. You might be asking why 10 females? Really, uh, in the Philippines, we have so many uh, female working in different industries, right? Even in Australia, let me ask you this. How many of us here are developers? <coughs> developers, uh, designers, Businessman, marketers, sales, okay, so many of us. But uh, the pure Drupal developer, just like uh, Juris said to his talk, is rarely found, right? But it is not impossible for us to uh, evolve into that kind of development someday. I guess that the community really matters. That's what I'm really here. That's why I'm really here. Because I wanted to encourage, um, especially the female, the female, to have uh, the active involvement in the community like this. Especially in the Philippines, because we have a very rare female involvement in the Drupal community, especially in the IT community. We have, in the Philippines, I guess we have a total of 20 groups. We have Philippine web designers. We have OS developers a lot. We have Drupal developers group. But rarely you can find females involving themselves in the activities of the community. So that's what main problem that I see nowadays on how we can empower these women and encourage them how to participate in this kind of activities. So as the main organizer of the Philippine Drupal Philippines, okay, about me, first let me, let me say something about me. My interest was... I love dogs. Okay, there is a saying that you can test your patience by uh, taking care of a pet. If you want to uh, develop your patience, try to grab some pet or a dog and learn your patience by taking care of it. You will see how patient you are after one week of taking care of a dog, after it poop, and then it will 
give some uh, some headache on you after it you will feed the you will feed the dog then you have to give uh, the food every now and then so it will test your patient so that's why the first main reason why I need a pet is because I need patients so dog is the number one test for me so number two I love Twilight who doesn't like Twilight you don't like Twilight <laughs> You tell me why you don't like Twilight. Cheesy, right? Okay. But we have our own uh, likes and dislikes, and we respect that. But for me, I can see that even though uh, you, you find it cheesy, for me, I find it uh, one more thing with the character of Bella. I see some strong uh, willpower woman inside her. The way that, that she uh, display her character in the, the movie, the way she fight for Edward in the movie, Really, it inspires me that, oh, someday if I became a vampire, I will really fight for that. <laughs> and if ever I have the chance to be a wife of Edward, of course, right? So who, who doesn't want to fight for Edward? Next is, who is crazy of Starbucks? Starbucks. Coffee, yeah, coffee. So you have Starbucks here, right? We have Starbucks, right? So... Any, anyone that is addicted to Starbucks, when you uh, smell the aroma of that coffee, or even not Starbucks, you, you tend to be craving for that aroma. You, you tend to, where's that coffee? I, I want to really sip at least one cup this morning. So at least it can uh, suit your satisfaction. Okay, number four. We have, uh, I like this pizza a lot. And we have that in Manila. So it's a 65-inch pizza. So if you're going to be traveling to Manila, you're going to try that uh, Pizza Nero. So it will be a customized pizza of 65 inch. I don't know if you can handle that 65 inch. And you'll be alone uh, eating that the whole day. And you'll be stuffed. So, but as a programmer or a developer, if you are doing coding, most of the time when I'm at home, stuck at home, I cannot stand on my chair. It's like... My husband is just feeding me some food on the door and just get the food out of there. <laughs> and I'm just, okay, what else? Uh, is there lunch? So I'm just continuing coding. So that's how my life is before, until that I met Drupal. Okay, for just a short history about the Philippines, you might not be shocked about this picture, but okay. So it sounds so boring. It looks so boring, actually. Maybe you have a... Uh, Ask me if that, is, if that is my grandmother. No, it's not. It's the women during the 18th century in the Philippines. So I just want to give you a fresh back or outlook about how women dressed up during those times and how are we doing our role in the Philippines during those 18th century. Those, eight, uh, those years, we are bound to take care of our kids. So we are just... Uh, designed to primarily take care of our husbands, children's needs. So we are just stuck at home during those previous times. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's our, our main role in the Philippines before. So our, you might be agreeing with this, right? Can you tell me something in Australia? Can you share something about your... Uh, women history here because you know I've never done some research about women in Australia and the basic task or main role that you have yeah that the, the was from the 50s late 50s right so so the, those are uh, the main role of women sometimes that we are designed to clean the houses and just washing the dishes and ironing the clothes of our, of our husbands. Until on the old days when women started to be active in the community in the 19th century in the Philippines. So during those times, you know that Philippines have been conquered by Spaniards and Americans. And different countries have all over uh, conquered Philippines and Manila. So during those times, we have now the access for education. So those times, women evolve themselves and try to be curious about education. So during those times, women are asking, what can I do to improve myself other than just washing the clothes, 
staying at home, taking care of the baby, what else can I do? So those are the times that women became uh, curious. Until today, on the 20th century era, as you may see, in the Philippines, we have now different league of women, women who are highly involved in the artillery, auxiliary group, and women in the Magna Carta, and women in the sports field, and even in the IT industry. So this one, as you can see, is Eileen Apollo, which is, uh, she became uh, one of the marketing uh, representative from Google Philippines, and uh, she highly represented Philippines for Google during those times. But the, I guess the, the, the latest news now, uh, she has been replaced by a man named Narciso Reyes already in Google. So, okay, <clears throat> this is a case-to-case -case study. Um, what I want you to do is, if for every, uh, for every, for every uh, part of this uh, word, I would like to ask for your suggestion, your opinions regarding this, because Australian is, has a different uh, situation, right? Basically, these are uh, some reasons that I've seen why, uh, why there is a small population of women in the IT community. Number one is the lifestyle. Depends on the country. Depends on the culture. For example, in the Philippines, mostly our Philippine women are basically designed to just primarily care for their children. For, for just design, designed for the household task, right? So in Australia, women are being educated by the government. So it is different. It is a case-to-case -case study already. So in your country, if you have other countries here, if you have other culture, you may uh, raise your opinion to me and give a suggestion on what, on what you can say about this uh, idea. De de uh, depends on the lifestyle. Do you have any suggestion? Okay, other than that, do you have any opinion with the lifestyle? What about you, your own personal lifestyle? How did you get into Drupal yourselves? You and yourselves, how did you get interested in Drupal? Well, I got into it because I thought it was interesting. I've been using it for the purpose of hanging out with Pamela lately. And I really, really liked it. And now I actually want to stop using it. Okay. <laughs> That's so boring. <laughs> and, and that's what, now I like spending time with friends. But I'd say maybe a lot of, a lot of people didn't have that experience. So I think for me, it was sort of a girls and I talked to a lot of people who were going through it. Yeah, uh, I agree with you because women are more sociable. And that's how there's a misconception with regarding to programming. Sometimes they uh, view this as negatively that programming is just a non-sociable work somehow because you're just going to stay at home and coding all the day of your lives and you're not going to do anything. So we're just thankful that we have the DrupalCon Association, we have the Drupal community or the different IT organization in the different countries because we are able to mingle with other developers. And uh, from our boring life of programming and coding from our house, we tend to express our stress or we have the stress relief to express ourselves in the society and become more friendly, right? So we became friendly by doing uh, activities in the community. So, so
Yes. I, I, I exactly agree with you. And uh, the second uh, factor is the interest of women. You know, women are so vain, right? We are all vain. Uh, admit it. We, we, we adore. I, I don't know with guys. Are you guys in vain with, uh, with your looks, with your... Because <laughs> in some area, there are guys that are vain, right? <laughs> you know, uh, yesterday I was with some... Uh, Australian friends also, they don't like hair, hairy thing, or what you call that? Yeah. So women are really vain with, uh, with, uh, with their looks. So we tend to really exert an effort to make uh, feel more beautiful, to look more beautiful, right? Even inside or outside. So the interest is some, is, has something to do with the interest also in the IT industry. Because men are, they are uh, critical thinking. Critical thinker, right? So, in in terms of women, we can also become uh, we can also excel with men in terms of mathematical. But they are born with that kind of attitude that is it has something to do with the brain hemisphere. Do you think so? Does it have something to do with the brain hemisphere when we are born? Do you believe in that? Yeah. Well, what, what about the, the interest? For, for, uh, for us female, when we see the, the coding or the development in Drupal? I never seen that from that female perspective. Another female perspective is that they're both very young, super young. They Yes. Mm. All right. Do you have any any other opinions? Okay. <laughs> Is she also uh, interested in the IT thing or IT uh, she, stuff? She's playing four-player games on the PlayStation with her. Oh. So she's only four. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> she's very interested in the PlayStation right now. So, yeah. Both of them are really interested in the game. And they're really putting down play into the game. They're crushing all the young people in the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially <laughs> girls. <laughs> 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 All right, that was a nice uh, opinion. Okay, as we are talking about environment, all right, unfriendly environment. Because, you know, uh, sometimes uh, in Philippines, um, female used to uh, view uh, the computer, the IT world, as unfriendly for them. They, they tend to see it as hard and difficult, and how can they be able to adapt to the environment? Because uh, the system it, itself, I have, I have some question with the system itself because even myself when I first start learning the IT, because I'm not a programming, uh, I don't have a programming background, I have some adjustment uh, to make in order to learn uh, coding. First in the CSS, HTML. So at first when you don't have a programming background for a female like, like me, it will be very difficult, right? So it's like you're learning from scratch. So it, it, in itself, you, have to, you, need to, uh, you need to have an environment where you will, you will feel more comfortable, more comfortable with learning. Like the community of Drupal, if it gives you training or access to training, mentorship, then that will give inspiration to female to learn more. I guess that's the suitable environment for a female to be encouraged in order to involve themselves in the community. More mentorship and more training for them. Since we are females, we need more, uh, we, we need to be taken care with handily, hand, uh, what do you call this? We need to be handily taken care of. 
It's like we are fragile, right? So females should be taken care of very, very, very carefully. So we have uh, the upbringing background also. So in Australia, you have a very good upbringing, right? With, uh, with, uh, within terms of your family, with your kids. So in Philippines, we have some uh, good upbringing backgrounds also. But sometimes it depends on the culture or on the situation of the family. What if, uh, the, uh, for example, a child grew up from a rural area or a suburban place wherein your parents do not really graduate from uh, college or you are not really educated. Your parents don't really have the access for education and you are not fortunate. So those females that grew up from that kind of upbringing are tend to uh, negatively view the IT world as different. So it has something to do with the upbringing of parents because if your parents are both programmers, yes, you have the tendency to be like them. So you have the influence of both parents. But what about those children that are born with less fortunate parents? So do you have uh, additional insights about this? Did you experience that kind of uh, situation here where children have a very, very uh, uh, sm small access or low access to the capability to learn the IT world or the IT Yeah. Yeah, let's con consider also the other third world country that are just beginning to grow with their economical stability, especially Africa, those countries that are not yet being reached by high technology right now nowadays. And specifically in Philippines, there are some uh, part of Philippines that are really indigenous. So up to now they're still trying to grasp technology. You know, it, it sounds so funny sometimes because even in our um, public, uh, uh, public elementary school, uh, our teachers, there were more than 50 years working in the public sector. But whenever you introduce them how to use a laptop, they're going to they're gonna be scared because they, might, they are, ex they are, ex uh, they are ex uh, expecting that the laptop will explode or something that if they push the button on the laptop, it will pop out from it. So that's another sad thing about uh, the, the reality happening in the Philippines sometimes. And there are also some uh, schools in the Philippines that are nowadays are not being equipped by technology, still need to develop more. So I think uh, the community, that's why the community is here, is uh, for us to help the government and for us to help the society to be aware of this kind of activities. In, in, our, uh, in the Philippine Drupal Users Group, we have this so-called uh, road show, which is uh, also we have uh, a road show where we do trainings and seminars to different universities. So we go travel from uh, different places, provinces, to introduce Drupal to them. We're the geek girls. We, we are included by the geek girls. And then we introduce to them the basic fundamentals of Drupal. First is you need to understand the meaning of Drupal. Of course, you cannot, you cannot learn Drupal until you know the meaning of it and how it has been established by the community leaders. Because uh, there is uh, something with Drupal that has a very valuable thing, and that is the, the, the community culture of Drupal. And I, I guess there's some, it has something to do with the attitude of the developers 
So we need to introduce them that the Drupal community is a community of people working together, not working as first for myself alone. So we need to encourage them to be involved in the community. And we need to start on the early stage. Because, you know, at the early stage, we can still change their point of view, right? Because you can, if they are they're old, for example, or some, uh, excuse me for those uh, people that, I guess it is much easier to access the, uh, the younger people because they're uh, uh, a bit uh, easy to, to approach with, uh, with the system because they tend to ask questions like, oh, what is Drupal? I want to learn Drupal. Some of the students that we taught in the Philippines in, the, in different universities, they were asking, is Drupal, because uh, they see a drop of water, they, they thought that, is it a drop of water or something like that, or meaning or a symbol of water in your country? No, it's uh, a CMS where we use for building websites. So it's a very powerful tool. That's how we introduce it. And you need to learn it in an easy way. So we, 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 we don't uh, teach them yet the local version because it's going to be a very long process. So we need to show them. We use first the webenable.com, if you know that. So it's much easier for them to point and click for a while, and then later on, learn the hard way. But there is a. Uh, Uh, in Tupin Drupal Users Group, we have 30. Yeah, out of the, I know, it's 50 out of the uh, 750. But those 750 in the Facebook page are not uh, all Drupal developers. They're just uh, trying to join the group. So the total developers that are really attending the session, uh, moreover, on the last event of Drupal Developers Day are 100. So we have a Drupal camp on February 16, which is we're expecting 250 people. But this time it's going to be big. So we are happy that uh, Drupal camp Manila will be near. So I hope you guys can, will be able to come and also experience Manila. So that will be great. So this is also a case-to-case -case study with women are less confident. Because this, this this, it has something to do also with the environment in your in your house for example your family uh, your family upbringing uh, your influence of your father and mother to you is very strong and you have uh, developed already self-confident at an early stage you will not be less confident right because um the community starts with our family sector so no one just evolved just or no one just pop out from the community without the parent so the parents are always involved in the development of a person. So it should always start with the family sector. So why are there so many females uh, that are less confident in doing this kind of developmenting or involving themselves in the community? So that is the main question. So if you have any, any insights about this, because this is a case-to-case -case study, you can raise your hand and uh, suggest anything. Do you have any insights about women that are less confident? Or do you believe that we are less confident? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and some of the questions you asked, I mean, they're really fascinating uh, because it shows the, the, the sort of difference in the culture. And it probably, if you go back in Australia for 30 years, uh, the centre would have been talking like this. And it just shows the uh, massive difference. But not understanding that about the culture and sort of losing what, what the plot, you know. And, uh, you know, and I've worked in that culture and I've just got my, my first uh, female group of program. So mm -hmm. I'll get those into the uh, the geek girl issue. Yeah, that's sure. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I agree with that. Uh, it has something to do with the negotiation. Even me, sometimes when I'm negotiating with the client, I still consult my husband sometimes because, you know, the development thing with the project is I don't really know yet the, the whole information of the project. So, as a female, I should be consulting first my husband in order for me to get the contract and push it on the client. Because the negotiation is something to do with uh, your firm, uh, firm decision. So female, yeah, she, he's an IT. So I'm also thankful that he mentored me for this. So I was able to adopt in the Drupal world. So fewer opportunities for mentoring. Okay, do you see that uh, there's, uh, there's also some problem with uh, less opportunities of mentor mentorship in the female industry, for example, in the IT world? Why, why do we see that there are a small population of female involving in the IT industry? The, that upbringing uh, factor is one main big factor that affects the female. Because, you know, to share you some uh, short history about my childhood, I was not like this before. I'm a, I'm a very antisocial person. I don't grow up uh, in a community where I, I was accepted, and uh, I, I'm not a, a happy goer, or I don't go out from the house. Because my father is a military man. So I'm somewhat restricted to go out from that, to just study and clean the house. That's all my task for the whole day. Until I grew up, then I, I became curious about the world. Because it depends on the person, actually. Even if your parents are, are, are bringing you like that negatively, it depends on you when you grow up. Eh? You have choices. We have all the choices in our lives. It's either you choose to be bad or you choose to be, to, to be good, right? So it's not... I don't believe in the saying that I don't have a choice. You know, I always heard the saying, I don't have a choice. I think when you're younger, you don't realize Yeah, those were the days I was r mentally black from the real world. So because my father was very strict and I don't have friends, imagine that, how did I evolve here in the community? I just thank God because my husband was a very uh, friendly person and he's very alive and active in the community doing advocacy in the Drupal world. So that's why you need one mentor at least in your household, at least one positive person. Because if everyone in the household are all negative, how come will the child be developed into a positive one, right? So at least there will be one positive person evolving around you. Or, or either you choose your friends. You choose where you will be. For example, uh, you are going out with people who, who, who uh, influence you badly. So I'd rather choose, I have a choice, I'd rather choose these good people because this will uh, return me some benefits later on. Not only the benefits of becoming uh, more social and more friendly, but also the development inside myself, the confidence. So we always have a choice, that's it. So, well, the upbringing has something to do, but you have something to do with yourself also. It matters on the person also, because we all have the choice. Next is, uh, yeah, number one is when we are discouraged at an early age. 
uh, I'm talking about the Philippine factor, okay? This is about the Philippine culture, not on the Australian one. Because in our Philippine culture, when we were young, parents tend to say during those times, when, uh, when we say something in front of them, we, we, we te we, they tend to shut, shut, our, shut us up. Like, don't, don't talk if we are talking. So female in, uh, during those times are very quiet. We're very naive. Only nowadays that we evolve to be very, very talkative and we are very, you know, alive in the community. As you can see, there are lots of rally going in in the Philippines and most of that are active females. You can see them in the streets. Wrong perceptions about computing. Okay? I have so many friends in the Philippines. When I, when I tend to introduce to them the Drupal thing, they, they tend to say, oh, what's that? Is that coding? Oh, it's hard. Hey, you've never tried it. You've already said hard. Why don't you try it first before you say no, right? Because you, you will not, you will not, uh, you will not uh, say something unless you get there. So try it first before you say something no. So another thing is that their perception regarding the IT community. Because female, uh, the female in the Philippines before, uh, when we were not yet very active during those times, they tend to see the IT community as being dominated by males. Oh, male again, here we go. Here's the male factor again. And then the female out there were sitting in the back just listening to the male speaker. Hey, you, 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 you listen to me. This is the coding, this is the programming. That's how we do it. But until some female geek ladies in the Philippines um, spearheaded the community, there are some women being inspired and uh, became active in the community and participated already. And uh, I also did some encouragement for this female, especially in the Drupal, which is really, really hard to uh, encourage some female to be active because, you know, the, the main reason why female are bounded in the household task. We are bounded by the household task. We have tasks in the house that we need to do. And then the other factor is that most of us are moms, mothers. So as mothers, we have our designated task for our children. We cannot leave it like that. Like We cannot leave the task alone with our husband because we are the main, main person to handle it, right? Because if you are especially giving birth to your child, for example, you have given birth to your child, you'll be the one to nurse your baby. It's not going to be your husband. Of, of course, he doesn't have a breast milk, right? So it should be us. If only, sometimes I, 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 I am joking my husband. I'm trying to joke him. Uh, if only the, the breast milk will be transferred to you, I will give it to you because I want it to work. And sometimes there's a factor between those uh, salary thing that... If the husband's salary is much higher than the female, sometimes when the child gets sick, the mother is already bounded to take care of the child. So that's one main reason why, why female, female are rarely found in the community because they have, so many, they have so many responsibilities. Don't we have all, right? So who are, who are parents here already? Female, female mothers. Who are mothers? Are you all single? <laughs> okay, I'm a mother, so I have three kids, and I'm trying to balance my time and everything in my family with, and with the community. It's also sometimes heartbreaking if you left uh, the job for your husband. For example, you are going to attend a community event, then you will leave your child to your nanny. It's very hard because you cannot entrust your child to someone who is not very trusted, right? So as a, as a mother, you have the heart to always think of your children for their welfare. So it's not always like that. Next is, um, okay, lack of female role models. That's it. In the Philippine situation, um, we seldom find uh, fema female role models. We, we want to, like, you know, I've met Angie Byron. She's really a rock star for me, but... In the Philippines, we have so many community leaders, but we want someone who will really mentor us and give us encouragement. 
Like, we want someone re like really a rock star behind us or beside us that will really show us that they are really leading the community. So that is one factor that is lacked nowadays. Next is the games classes aimed toward men. Do you, do you agree? I have some, uh, some question about the gaming, the gaming, uh, gaming factor between, uh, do you play War World of Warcraft? Or who, who play games here? Because, you know, <laughs> why, why are those gamers, designers, or the game, game designers used to uh, create female versions in the game? Wearing nude, uh, very big breasts, and uh, <laughs> it's so horrible that you can see your character is really uh, wearing nothing but just the underwear, right? So I was trying to play a uh, Dota before, but my 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 character is just like, is this really the character that I'm having here with a big breast and big butt? And that's what they view us. Maybe men are viewing us sexy, but yeah. Yeah. So, if uh, if if ever uh, we would be able to see someday some female role models in the game that we are also doing some good characters. <laughs> no, I just, uh, I just want to, to ask that question because um, some of the females were also looking for something that we will be viewed as uh, not, not on the body, but more on the brain. Men would see us in here, not here, right? So... Typically, that's what I'm looking for also in the gaming industry. And importance of life balancing. Okay, so this is something to do with uh, as parents, or even if you're single and you're the breadwinner of the family, you also have responsibilities. So if, if there's a social event that you need to attend to, sometimes you have uh, family activities, you have to go. So we can't be able to attend the session because you need to go there. And sometimes your mom is sick. You need to attend your mom, and, and unless you want to leave your mom and go attend the session for DrupalCon, right? But family matters comes first, right? So we females are really uh, very passionate with our families and with the way we, we balance our life. So sometimes I, I also, there are also men. I know, I believe that there are also men who are also taking care of their family. But most of our females, most of us, are also uh, more on passionate on doing these things because we are already in it. So ever since the world began, we are the, the first one to create the family. Like we're giving birth, we're doing the reproductive thing. So that's how we do it. So just like what I said, um, it's important that we build a community that to encourage more female to be active just like now, I was asking uh, uh, with Donna, is it, would would be uh, would be anyone or would anyone be interested to attend the session because it's more on geek girls. So my 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 um, my idea with that is that as a community, we should support one another, right? Especially if there is a female speaker, as female uh, developers or female community members, if there is a female speakers, we should support them. So to show our passion for the community and work together as one. So when the next time around you'll be the one to talk here, we also support you, right? So that's how we work. In the Drupal Philippines as a community, we help each other. We support one another. And we tend to collaborate with other groups. So how do we, how do we collaborate with, with other groups? Actually, there are many groups in the Philippine, Drupal, in the Philippine settings. We have Python, we have Ruby, we have uh, PHP. There are lots of programming languages, but we collaborate with them. How we collaborate is that by meetups. So is there something to do with the fight of the programming language? Do you fight with each other? For example, here in Australia, they have that kind of issue. Like, for example, if you're Drupal and he's Ruby, 
I don't know you, <laughs> right? When you attend the conference and he is Drupal and this is Ruby, sometimes the community leaders are, I am more, uh, more uh, hard-coded than you, right? There's something to do with that. I, I, I guess that would not be necessary for us to do that because, you know, as community, we should be helping one another. As, and especially, we are open source. We're open source community. So other than that, do I have more time? <laughs> Okay, five minutes to wrap up. I just want to show you some, uh, some pictures. Okay. Right. Okay. So to, to give us inspiration about these influential women, I can see that they are very influential because uh, she's the founder of SlideShare, Rashmi Sinha. You know her already. And Angie Byron of Drupal Chicks. And Marisa Mayer of Google. And Kalia Hamlin of uh, open ID community. So those are some of the women that are I've uh, included. In the Philippines, here are the geek leaders. Uh, Eileen Apollo of Google, Anton Polman of Python Users Group, me as myself for Philippine Drupal, and Sherry Ann Domingo of PHP, and uh, the Developers Connect, Florida Ortiz. Okay, I've already discussed that. And uh, here are some of the pictures that we have with our female uh, female uh, geek girls that are already included in the Drupal community. So we've encouraged them already. We've already uh, trained them and mentored them to learn Drupal as well. They're also doing Drupal now. Yeah. Okay. Let me pass that. So these are some geek female events that are uh, included here. Okay. As you can see, there are some women already participating in Drupal. We have last year our Drupal uh, Inauguration Day, which we already uh, acknowledged the volunteers. So yearly, we have this, what we call, acknowledging volunteers for the community. Because, you know, it's important that we acknowledge uh, every volunteers so that we, they have something to cherish for their hard works. And not only that, Drupal Camp Manila. Uh, no, certification. Drupal certification? Active, active certification. We have already, if I we have. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's. That will be great. That will be great. And uh, yeah, we have, uh, in order to help them also, we, okay, we included them, sorry for this. We included them in the Toastmasters. We're also doing uh, Toastmasters International for female because, uh, you know, female is sometimes naive and shy. So we try to develop their public speaking skills by involving them in the Toastmasters club. So at least they can experience talking in front of the stage. And that's not only the program that we have. For these future coming events, we have more training for the females. And not only for the females, but for the community volunteers. So that's how we, that's how we encourage our volunteers in the Drupal community. And this is our logo for the Druplicon, Philippine Drupal Users Group and Philippine Geek Girls. And uh, all right. I think. That's all my topic all about today. So if you have any more questions, we can, uh, we can raise it up. Or if you, you don't have any more, that will be fine. <laughs> Since this is my first time, uh, that will be great. I will not answer your question. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he was raising his hand. Yeah, charity.
So what? What do you mean? You want to establish a group or a meetup for women with you? <laughs> Because <laughs> he said he want more female. <laughs> no, not really. You're not doing anything bad to women. It's just like the perception of some women over this IT thing. And they, we just need some mentorship and clarification with you guys. Sometimes also it has to do with some snappy people in the industry, especially the executives. So women are, you know, women are emotional, right? So when we, at the first impression, when we tend to be ignored sometimes, we, we are sometimes discouraged already. So somehow, at the first impression of a person, you should be accessible at first to women and uh, accommodating. Yeah, should be. So other than, okay. Well, for me, I believe that uh, it has something to do with the community leaders. Because uh, my first, uh, when I was not yet in uh, Jupo, I will not say any particular group. When I attended one community in uh, Philippines, there's, you know, people are people. You can change them, right? Even if we are Drupal people and we are open source, we have our own attitudes. We cannot change that. So for me, it has uh, something to do with uh, the accessibility of, uh, or the availability of leaders to those weak. Because, you know, in a community, there, there are groups of weak people or those people that are uh, less, uh, what do you call them? They, they are tend to, uh, yeah, tend to be aloof or somehow isolating themselves from the other groups. So in order to not them do that, we should be the one to approach them. Because we, we should be more aware. As a leader, I, me, I learned to be aware of the people around me when I feel something bad happening in my community. I am the one first approaching the volunteers. Well, that's in the Philippines. Yeah, I, I do uh, agree with her. 
And somehow in our in our group, what we do in the volunteers meeting when we have new members in the community, this is a long process of task. Actually, we are doing a background check for this person because we wanted to not really the background or the more deeper back, but just the the family background. So we know how to adapt with her emotional tantrums. You know, sometimes volunteers tend to not appear sometimes and so that you know what's going on and you, you will not be uh, you, you don't look like to be so dictator with them because sometimes you will be misinterpreted as dictating something for them so it has to be always a request for the volunteers Okay, thank you very much, guys. <laughs> um, thank you for attending. Uh, yeah, I hope this is will not be this will not be my last uh, for DrupalCon. So I hope next time I will be able to uh, get more <laughs> audiences for women. <laughs> and uh, I'm glad that you all participated because that's the purpose of this uh, presentation is to be able to hear your voice and your suggestion and ideas because that's how our community right so uh, since it is a community topic we need to voice out our ideas so thank you for attending yeah you ha he, he has a Because we have standard family. Role models. 